Today's science unit was all about snakes. This is from the Filled in Flowers from the Good and the Beautiful, and it had us read a story along with it today from the Big Book of Science Stories. This is so, so cute. It'll either have you read a story from this book or you will watch a little film from their website. And then my daughter wanted to make a king cobra is what she called this. So I tried to find kind of like a craft idea that would go along with it. My daughter absolutely loves crafting. So science is her favorite day of the week. We usually do science once a week and it's just her absolute favorite because she loves doing crafts. And this is what I love so, so much about homeschooling is that I get to cater to what my daughter absolutely loves, what excites her, what interests her, what ignites her fire, and for her, it is crafting. So we did these King Cobra, this huge snake. It actually ended up turning out so, so big. So I just drew lines on this paper, as you could see. You could use any color paper you want. And then we just went through, cut the paper into little slivers, you glue them and then you just kind of put one around the other and it can be like any pattern you want. It turned out so cute. My daughter picked the colors, the orange and the blue to go together, but it is like such a super, super simple, easy craft that anyone could do. Even like a little one I think could do this craft. And then I had to kind of test my drawing expertise. You know, I'm no artist here. Um, but I did have to kind of like draw out a little tell when we cut that out. And then I also drew a head that we cut out and glued on there. And I forgot to show it, but I, I accidentally cut the tongue blue. And my daughter's like, mom, why is the tongue blue? It's supposed to be red. I'm like, oh yeah, duh. So it's a good thing she keeps me in check because obviously I don't know what I'm doing over here. I'm just winging it when it comes to these crafts. But it was really easy. So then we just cut out the tongue in red and glued on some googly eyes, of course, looped it all together, got it all in place. And it is just so, so cute. Have you guys made anything like this? Do you guys usually do a craft when you do your science units? I would love to know. We have really, really loved going through this science unit book. It's been so, so great. And look how cute this turned out in the end. It is so long, so big. I love it so, so much.